and you know this experience this whole experience since January has really benefited me has helped my self-confidence has helped me grow has helped me learn more about myself and I'm grateful that I was able to run the marathon in three hours and 23 minutes you know and it's just such a great experience I encourage each and every one of you if you want to do something go at it with 100% intentions of being committed and being disciplined and give it your best and even if you don't meet the mark you're going to learn a lot during the way So today is the day guys, it is April 10th. We are in Lexington, Kentucky. I'm here with my girlfriend Haley and my mom. It is currently 6.52 in the morning and the race briefing announcement started at 7.15 and then there are 18 waves of 50 people in each wave and that starts at 7.30. So it's kind of a surreal moment, you know, because all the hard work that's been put in the past 14 weeks, it's gonna show up today um, we're going to try for a sub three, three hour and 30 minute um, marathon. Haley's going to video as much as she can. Um, depends on where her and mom are at. But yeah, it's race day, guys. I'll see you after. Hey, I just want to say thank you for coming out and being a part of the race. You're so grateful to be able to run. What's up guys, it is Monday, so I've had two days, you know, just to kind of think about, you know, everything that, that happened, you know, Saturday. Of course, it was a great experience. I met a lot of great people, me, Haley, and mom had a great time. Um, I'm thankful for everybody that was there. Um, pretty much at the start of the race, I met a guy named Money. He's from India, and he was actually the eight minute per mile pacer but he was only running um, the half marathon so for the first six and a half miles I was you know right with him um, I kept it very conservative at, in the beginning and I stuck with him and I learned a lot from him and another guy um, I didn't get a chance to get the other guy's name but he has ran 221 marathons so I was able to take away um, his experience from all of his past marathons and I'm just thankful for everybody even the group that I ran with um, there was I think five of us four or five of us you guys saw in the footage but I was able to you know talk with them for the first you know half of the marathon and just you know learn more about them and of course you know we kind of got distance as we kind of got separated as the marathon went on but it was just uh, just such a unique experience to be able to um, learn from other people and to be able to um, meet new people and, and make friends I can even say that so yeah it, it was a great experience um, from the beginning I felt really good you know heading into Saturday I slept pretty good the night before um, and just you know waking up that morning I felt good I felt energized I was nervous um, really nervous just because 
you know, I've never done this, and that's okay. Um, something I want to talk about it, you know, if you're stepping into something new and you're nervous, that's okay because anytime you try something new or you're starting a new journey or, you know, anything new, it's going to be hard um, to not be nervous because you've never done it before. If you've never done something before, it's going to be hard not to be nervous. So um, I knew I was going to be nervous ahead of time, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I was nervous, but I was still ready. I knew I had prepared. I knew I'd put in the work. I, I mean, I never missed a workout. I never, you know, I never slacked off. I did the miles that I said I was going to do, and I'm proud of myself for that. And, you know, the biggest way to build self-confidence is just doing what you tell yourself that you're going to do. If you tell yourself that you have a four-mile workout and you only do three, you know, the next time you tell yourself you're going to do something, you're not really going to be able to trust yourself. And I'm proud of myself for being disciplined and staying committed to my workout plan. So, anyways, like I was saying, at the beginning of the race, I felt good. You know, I was talking to money, and I was talking to the group of people I was running with. And everybody in that group wanted to run um, a sub-three-hour and 30-minute marathon, which is an eight-minute pace. So, money left us at the six and a half mile marker, like I said, and then it was just us, and of course I have my Garmin. Um, my Garmin was actually on today, uh, like on point as far as the mileages go, and so I used my Garmin, and you know, there's so many motivators, like there's so many people, like when you do this thing, like when you do, when you go to an event such as a marathon, there are so many people that are encouraging you. You got people riding on bikes, like past you, like just checking on people, and then you have people running, because then you have people running past you because you know you go to a certain point, you turn around, and you come back through, and it's just so encouraging, and it's a lot. It makes it a lot easier. Like if you're by yourself, that would that would be what would make it very difficult. So I'm very grateful for the group of people I was with. So. At about the halfway point, I would say I was feeling, still feeling really good. Um, but a, a, an important point that money told me was stay conservative, stay at your pace until the 20 mile marker. And then if you feel good enough, you can kick it. You know, you can do negative splits so you can go under an 8 minute per mile pace. So that's pretty much what I did. I think I. I actually didn't kick it until the 18 mile marker, um, but those last 18 miles were definitely mental. You know, my legs hurt, everything hurt, my feet hurt, um, even my lower back hurt a little bit, and it was just really uncomfortable. But I knew beforehand that there was going to be a point in the race where things would start to hurt, and it was going to become more mental than it would be physical. So. And that's that's important also to prepare yourself. You got to know that there's going to be difficult times, regardless of how how much preparation you put in. There's going to be difficult moments, even though you put all the work in. Because whenever you're trying to achieve something that you've never done before, it's very difficult to just go out and do it the first time and say it's easy. Because anybody who says that either didn't give their best or isn't doing something hard enough or I guess that's what I could say isn't doing something that pushes their limits because even though you you practice and you work out and you train and you, you do all the right things there's going to be points where you don't feel like you can go anymore there's going to be points to where you have to really push it and that's that's what I'd say the last eight miles were no, you know, they were very difficult, but I had, I met a, a great lady named Amy. Um, she had ran the Boston Marathon six times, and she was, you know, right behind me pretty much the whole time. You know, in the video, she was the lady that finished right behind me. She was always pushing me and trying to catch me, and I was always trying to, you know, run away from her to keep her from passing me. So it was, it was a great competition. Um, I, I met a, a lot of amazing people and if you've never ran a marathon before 
or there was even people who walked some. If you've never done anything like that, it doesn't even have to be a full marathon, I encourage you to go do it. You may not like the running part, you may, you may not like the full exercise part, but you will enjoy meeting new people. And you know, this experience, this whole experience since January has really benefited me, has helped my self-confidence, has helped me grow, has helped me learn more about myself. And I'm grateful that I was able to run the marathon in three hours and 23 minutes. You know, and it's just such a great experience. I encourage each and every one of you, if you want to do something, go at it 100% intentions of being committed and being disciplined. And give it your best. And even if you don't meet the mark, you're going to learn a lot during the way. So, I want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me. And this is the end of my marathon journey. So, there's still more to come, guys. I'll see you soon in another video.